He's having an emotional meltdown. Oh my god, look how angry he is. Hi everyone, welcome back to Melissa K Plays. This is my talker. It helps me speak July 26th, 2020. Hi everyone, welcome back to, of course, Melissa K Plays. Um, this is episode 12 of the Family Tree Challenge. Oh, get out of there. Um, and it is our special Winterfest episode. Of course, it's really late at night right now, and they're all awake. She is having morning sickness. Oh, this is kind of gross, but I feel like sometimes when they throw up, they feel better. So, also, we need to throw the cake away. No, more, no more cake. From their birthday. They literally eat cake. Like, they don't eat anything else, though. Did it make you feel better? No, it didn't. <laughs> Now she just has to clean clean it up. There is no cake left for you. Actually, someone else can clean it. She can... I don't know what will make her feel better. Maybe just going back to bed will. Stop trying to eat cake. There literally isn't any cake for her to eat anymore, so I don't know what she's thinking. But, um, today is Winterfest, actually. Well, that's what it's supposed to say. Yeah, today's Winterfest. From 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. So that's what's happening today. Um, I put in a new fireplace so that it would work and we could have Santa come down and visit her. Of course, she's very, um, pregnant right now. Um, so, last episode she, um, finally got pregnant. It was very exciting. With Alexander, of course, at her birthday party. But, we don't know how we're feeling about Alexander as of late. Mel has completely, like, is completely just not liking him at all he's eating cake what cake is there to eat is there a cake in here there's a slice of cake here stop eating the cake they're all like super unhealthy right now not like unhealthy but they're just eating so much cake that it's so unhealthy for them um i shouldn't be talking because i love cake but yeah why doesn't he make himself useful today and serve breakfast um some pancakes would be nice please thank you um, she's taking a bath, which is making her feel a lot better. Um, pregnant, eating for two. She's in her second trimester in 19 hours. And now she's going to take a nap. And Henry, um, is still sleeping. Since she's pregnant, I feel like I'm just gonna let her, like, chill. Have a good time. Why does it say... Why even... Why is there even a hamper in there? I don't know what's going on. Um, so anyways... Oh, it's Winterfest today. Thank God. So, we need to... Decorate the house exterior by placing and using Family the attic stack decoration box. I don't think I've ever used that. Oh, right. We have a new um, buttons Brianna on Mel's... Brianna Binelli. Nicole Holland. Brianna Binelli. Um. Alexander Goff. Leslie Holland. Okay, Brianna where is Binelli. that? So, we... Um, I made a page for Mel so that she can say most of her characters. Is it for Ricky? We don't have Ricky on right now. But perhaps soon he'll be part of the family tree. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> That's, we literally have no idea what's happening. That's just me saying, like, maybe we'll add him to the thing. Brianna oh, Benelli. Spelled, it wrong. Alexander Bell. Alexander. So Alexander has not been very nice lately. He was actually caught kissing Ricky at her birthday party, which is insane. Um, he needs to, first of all, put up the decorations after he cleans everything. <laughs> Him and Henry need to put up decorations. So, Alexander she... Alexander Gothyuk. Gothyuk. <laughs> Alexander Gothyuk. That's what she's saying. You can't really hear her, but that's what she's saying. Um, yes. Me and Mel are not huge fans of Alexander Goth right now. But it is, um... I don't know. I feel like she's really trying right now. But we just don't know how well it's going to go. So... Red. Yeah. Mm. Red. Oh, they got wed. Their wedding. My festive cheer. All right, this is cool. their mm. start of term for Henry. Yeah, Henry is not doing well in school. Um, he's actually on Good academic morning. probation. Good morning. It's Sunday. July 26, 2020. Oh, so we're filming this at 345 today. But you, it'll July be up, of course. July 26, 2020. The day that this goes up is on a Sunday. I don't know if you're watching it on a Sunday. There we are. 
I'm already feeling this is gonna be another stressful episode. We have so many. Um, so what's the start of term for him? I don't think he has, he's on probation. Oh my God, he only has seven course credits and he's been in it for so long. But now he only has two classes because we were like, okay, he needs to just, um, he needs to take a little break from that. Family tree mm -hmm. challenge. Family tree Brianna challenge. Brianna Dinelli. It says Alexander that he, Gough. exactly. So it says that he has class today. I thought I wouldn't, I thought he wouldn't because it's, um, Winterfest, it's Christmas, but apparently he does. He's got to do what he's got to do. Why doesn't he do his homework right now, actually? It is Christmas morning, though. So, <laughs> we're not treating like it's Christmas morning at all. So, we were actually going to have them invite over some people um, that we would want, like, with us um, on Christmas morning. Because it is Winterfest, and we're not really treating it as such. Cassandra and Elsa, he should invite over. And Ricky. Should he invite over some girls? No. Like, that's, that's like our friend group, you know. Um, Leslie. Uh-oh. Leslie? Maybe we can invite Frank over. We love Frank. Frank can come over, of course. Congratulations on your recent birthday. Thanks. It's very nice. Frank's here. Merry Christmas, Frank. How are ya? <laughs> she should give him a Winterfest gift. Oh, we don't even have anything to give him. Leslie okay. Holland. Can they, um... Nicole Holland. Open presents. Leslie Holland. With all three, all three of them. Oh, they can't even get to it. Leslie. Right. So Leslie was a whole situation, as we know. She is obviously crazy. Leslie Holland. And her daughter was Nicole Holland, who... Rest in peace, of course, the wedding episode. Alexander if you watched Goth. It. And Alexander Goth had a secret family. And we're just not, we're just not down with that you know so they should all or maybe we should wait for everyone else to open some presents maybe she could um add a present um sing together i don't know we have to do something cheerful maybe we could plan a dinner party for tonight i don't like that you don't like that family tree challenge brianna benelli alexander you don't Goth. like alexander Goth. okay yes mel does not like alexander Goth. Okay, we do have to get some holiday stuff in, so we're going to add an event, the dinner party. Host will be Brianna, guest, Alexander, Henry, Elsa, Ricky, Cassandra, Frank. Do we want to invite Leslie to the dinner? Oh, she does. Interesting. Interesting choice. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a whole thing. Let's have Lilith be our caterer, even though she's crazy. He's uncomfortable from bad surroundings. You know what? Do you want to delete the washing machines and everything so that there's not dirty all the time? Yeah, yes. we thought we were going to be able to like, get a lot of money from searching the pockets, but we really don't. We're. And it's just kind of annoying, and then the maid only focuses on that. Okay, I think that's everything. Family tree challenge. Family tree Brianna Benelli. Brianna Benelli. Alexander Goff. Mm-hmm. His class in two hours for fine art. Like, do your work. He's really bugging me lately. Henry is really bugging me. They're both, like, Brianna's just totally being cool and chill and doing all the stuff for everyone. Henry's class starts in about one hour. Okay, so they all need to open presents together then. Okay, what'd she get in? <gasps> what'd she get? One land coral garden. That's fun. Everyone come down and open their presents and see what they got. One London's choice. He got one fossilized egg. She should add a present. Because I love when they add presents because then they get more stuff for free. Henry's off to class. That's fun. Okay, Frank is here and he's literally like... Oh, we can't give him any Winterfest gifts, but we can um, get him get to know him. He's Alexander literally the sweetest. Goff. Alexander, exactly. We know. So he kissed Ricky, and he's been flirting with everyone and sing together. You know, he was flirting with people. Like, I feel like we just can't trust him, especially with his fake family. I mean, his, like, secret family and everything that went on. We just don't know if we can trust him. Today's mail has been delivered. Oh, we should totally check that because I think we have presents. Check for Winterfest gifts, first of all. Hasn't really been talking to Alexander that much today. I feel like she would argue about her his career a little bit more. Confidently, Henry's class starts in about an hour. One Appaloosa, Plain, Appaloosa Plains postcard from Alexander Goth. She got a postcard from him? Mysterious time capsule. Ooh. That's wicked cool. Where did it just go? 
Now she has to pee before she actually pees herself. And she's feeling happy from opening a present. Why doesn't she open another one? Chris Handergoth's calling to chat because it's Christmas. That's so nice. That's his sister, of course. We haven't put her on the um, tree challenge, on the family tree in Mel's accent yet. Oh, it's pink. It's pink with hearts. That must be a good one. I bet she's wondering what he got her. One spice of life spice rack. A mate. She's feeling a bit tired, low energy. Oh my god, go to work. Go to class. I don't care about your grades. Just go to class. Cassandra has spread some goosey gossip, gossip about Bella. About his her mom? Isn't she dead? Cassandra is the aunt of Brianna's baby. Um, she didn't come over, though, for when we invited her, which is tough. Father Winter appears at 8 p.m. near fireplaces. So that'll be like when our, when our party is there. And then we can make friends with him. I love making friends with Father Winter and then like inviting him to random things. He and Frank remind me of each other. Frank reminds me of... I feel like she's going to wake him up and then argue with him before the party starts. Kind of about his career, probably. Because Mal thought that they should get in a fight today, actually, because of everything that he's been doing. Kind of like confronting him about it. And he's sitting in his pajamas. First, he quit his job, but now he's just living in his pajamas all day. Like, I don't even think she's mentioning the Ricky thing. It's probably hard for her to talk about. Do you think so? <laughs> yeah. Dinner party's about to begin. Let's start. Brianna earned 1272 on her holiday. That's so good. Okay, the dinner party's starting, so they should probably stop soon. Hopefully, that person will cook a grand meal for us. She should thank them for coming. Oh, they're losing the hearts. No. Other Sims. Ooh. Ask about another Sim. She should ask about Alexander. Oh, she should talk to him about her. About the other Sim. Ask about another Sim. She likes Alexander, obviously, because that's his sister. Um, what does Henry think of Alexander? Like, what do you think of him? Oh, he's saying he... I like Alexander. He's pretty cool, too. Then she can ask about... Um, what's it called? Friendly. Ask about another Sim. Ricky. I like Ricky. He's pretty cool. Okay. Gossip. Oh my god, she's gonna talk to them about, like, what happened at the birthday party yesterday. Yeah. They should become best friends again, because we had them, we had her be Alexander's best friend, but obviously today we don't want them to be. Ooh, Leslie. She's gonna be like, look, this is what happened. Oh, they're becoming best friends again. We say that all the time, though, now, because she becomes best friends with everybody. Share big news. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting her. Yeah. Bring up an embarrassing childhood moment. That would be, like... She's telling him, like, remember when Alexander, like, talked to you and, like, told you that he didn't even know who I am and you got really mad about that? Yeah. <coughs> totally. That's totally what's happening. Complain about Winterfest. Like, this is just not how I pictured it, like, being mad at my husband. And she's talking with Frank. Frank's, like, her dad at this point, almost. Gossip about office romances. Like, I don't know if I'm meeting anyone there. Oh, my God. They're talking. They're talking. They're talking. What is he talking to her about? <coughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, Elsa's talking to her. Ooh, Henry's gotta talk to Elsa now. Romance. Why doesn't he exchange numbers with her? Oh, look, they're with Ricky now. She's gonna be like, listen, what happened, bud? Listen, bud. They're actually like, I thought that shout forbidden words at him. Oh, no. That's probably bad. Ooh, trash another sim. Trash Alexander. <laughs> oh, that's how you do that. Now I know how to do it. And then she should do it with him, too. That sounds terrible. I'll talk to Alexander myself. <laughs> Is he going to confront him? <laughs> oh my god, he's going up to confront him. Oh my god. <laughs> I bet he's faking it though, because he's the one that kissed him. They haven't even met each other yet. Alexander is such a jerk. You were right about him. <laughs> oh? Well, she just passed him. Oh my god. No, you can't, okay, Alexander would definitely, would like definitely be like, what are you talking about? Like, you kissed me, you know? Fight? Stop. Give mean gift. He's feeling flirty again because he's with Alexander. He remembers the kiss. Stop. This is so bad. Shout forbidden words at him. Insult him. Oh my god, she should come up and look at it. Like, she's so tired, though. Oh my god, wait, is he here? Is Father Winter here? Father Winter's here! Yeah! Okay. While they're doing that, have Henry 
polite introduction to Father Winter. He is, who is that? Who, who, who is that? There's his white beard and everything. Looks like Frank dressed up. She's going upstairs to watch them. There's so much going on right now. They're still fighting. No, she should be like, listen, listen. Divorce right now. We cannot divorce him right now. That would be so bad. She's gonna yell at him and be like, listen. Oh, he's giving him the mean gift now. So they're like both kind of ganging up on him. She's like, how dare you? Like he was sticking up for me. You know what I mean? I wish we could argue about more things. More choices. Insult him. And then she's talking to him. And look, they're both ganging up on him. Look. This is an offensive conversation. She's going to try to calm Ricky down and be like, it's okay. Sorry that that happened. Listen, Mel. This is what Mel wanted to happen from the beginning. And it just ended up this way. But I feel like a confrontation had to happen. They know She knows exactly what happened that yesterday at the at the party and she's not gonna she's gonna stick up for herself and her friend even though ricky was the one though oh my god ricky's yelling at her now they don't have okay mm. smooth apology let's have him do that the party's also almost ending and we haven't even done anything do we have like a meal lilith made a blt no one made a grand meal what? Henry, make a grand meal right now. <laughs> make a ham dinner. That's what you eat during Christmas time, right? And no one's even, like, talk to him. Okay, he's gonna open presents with Elsa mm. and Cassandra. Cassandra. <laughs> you know what? It's actually not even worth your time anymore to make the grand meal. We'll just have to live without it. Open presents with Elsa. He's at least having a good time. No, don't go to bed yet. Come on, he's here. More choices. Like I don't want, I don't want it to end like this. Our Winterfest. Open presents with Mac Kelly. Who is Mac Kelly? Do we know who that is? Do we have any idea? Maybe Father Winter like passed away because we're so. Oh, we got a present. Wow, Father Winter got Henry a brand spanking new gift. It's so big it had to go in the household inventory. One Crispinex Ultra Great with Deluxe Crisper. London's choice. Oh, we got a new. Oh, we got a new fridge. That's wicked fun. And a new stove. Didn't we have that one? Oh no, we have a better stove now. That's awesome. That's so dope. And the spikes rack, of course. Family tree yeah. challenge. Yeah. He's having an emotional meltdown. Oh my God! Look how angry he is. He's like having a tantrum. No. Alexander Gus. Oh my god, look at him. He's just having a tantrum? Who does that? A, a grown man. Ask for a present. Nicole Holland. One robot Alexander vacuum dog. Oh, that's cool. She's getting one from Father Winter himself. Yeah, I'm not even like... One grand plans chess table. Stop, she got a chess table for Christmas. That's so happy. That makes me so happy, sorry. A new one that's even better than an old one. Okay, let's put it in. Right where the old one was. That's like a nice expensive one too. Stop. I hope she loves it. And we got a new robot vacuum cleaner. Which of course I love because I don't want to do anything myself. Now Henry of course is kind of like childish. So. He's friendly. Has to join household. So she of course I think needs to go to bed. And they need to sleep it off. And then in the morning we'll see how she handles him. Because she's obviously not going to be happy with him at all. Oh, Alexander's up. Cook grand ham dinner. Do not cook a grand ham dinner. That literally makes no sense. Winterfest is over. Too little too late. Serve breakfast. Eggs and toast. That's what you can do. To at least make himself useful. Like while he's here, if he's gonna act like that, he's gonna have to be Alexander useful with it. Alexander. Exactly. Do we like him? No. Especially not after he had a whole tantrum yesterday because he got called out by Ricky and Brianna. But then Brianna was like trying to be okay with Ricky and then Ricky started yelling at her. So I don't even, not even sure how we feel about him anymore. Just a bunch of stuff that we don't need. Work for Brianna starts in an hour. So yeah, she's going to work. 
Oh, she's cooking. Don't cook a grand ham dinner. No one wants that. Okay, so Alexander is our stay-at-home dad now. Which, um, is kind of a thing. Oh, yeah, this, I don't even know if we told him. We told our audience that yet. But we want Alexander to be a stay-at-home dad. Mel made the decision. Well, for now, at least. She's, um, very big, very ready for her, um, third trimester in 17 hours. So this is kind of a pregnancy episode. She's gotta go to work now, though. And Henry, of course, is still sleeping. But he does have school. Else is calling. Do you want to go on a date at the nightclub? He has school. No thanks. Unfortunately, we would love to go out on a date with her, but, like, not here. Right now. When is his classes today? Class in two days. Oh, he has, like, yeah. Hey, I heard you became friends with Mac Kelly. He's pretty cool, Elsa. I, I think it's cute that Brianna's trying to make an effort to be friends with, um, Elsa. There's no doc? That we have the doc, but we don't have the vacuum. That is so strange. Oh, I love her new outfit. Oh, she ate a fruitcake. That's why she hates it. Um, yeah. A lot of his friends. He actually doesn't have school. Wait, should we have Henry go on a date with Elsa? We sh should we do it? No. We can send her a happy text, though. Poor Henry is, like has no friends, though, because of his school and everything. Yeah, you can clean up. Take down the decorations. Did we have outdoor decorations? Oh, we did. Oh, I love that. They're so cute. Maybe he can call, send happy text to Ricky, because he knows that Ricky's, like, kind of not in the best mood with the rest of his household. Maybe he can just be like, listen, um, how are you? Because they were best friends. Not like best best friends, but they were pretty good. I agree, Henry. It's a great day. Let's go out and enjoy the day. He wants to go to the chalet gardens with Henry. Should Henry go and like talk it out with Ricky and like see his point of view? No. We could accept and select Alexander to go with them. And then I could all just like go to the gardens and talk it out and like see what happens and like maybe have another fight break out. No. Okay. You don't like for Henry to leave the house. He has class in two days, so he's good with his um, stuff. He needs to take a final exam for both of them. So he should actually go s probably study for that. Of course she's like the one that's like so stressed all the time because they're just like not doing anything for her. Oh, he has a really bad relationship with... Ooh, maybe he can text Cassandra. Send her a happy text, too. I'm kind of mad that he's happy. Um, no, we're not going to go out and enjoy the day with Cassandra. Um, Cassandra Goth or Cassandra. Alexander Goth. I know. So, Brianna's going to have to finally... Well, she has her baby probably in the next episode. But she's also got to deal with Alexander. So, we really just don't know what's going on. She's tense, we're not having a lot of fun. Maybe she could just take it easy for a little bit today. I think she deserves it since she's been working so hard and she is pregnant. Oh, and Frank's here. Sorry, we celebrity level lost. Yeah, well, yeah, if you're just a bum to stay at home all the time, your celebrity level's gonna be lost, Alexander. He's sad. Aw, I'm so sad for him. She brought home $1,272 again. That's really good. Oh, I love her new outfit. But she is, her baby belly is definitely growing. She needs to have some fun. She should just sit there and watch a movie. <laughs> watch Lost Dog's Journey Home with Henry. Because I think they both deserve a little downtime. They've just been both a little stressed. And I don't think they've been hanging out enough recently. Keach didn't study right now. He can, he's a little stressed too from not having enough fun. And he, oh, did he actually cook a grand meal? Oh boy. All right, well, um, he can call them to the grand meal then, I guess. He's so sad. I really don't care. Like, I feel like she's not even gonna try to like cheer him up or anything. She'll be like, okay, hi, how are you? Divorce. That is an option now because they are literally so, they're just not doing that great. Um, and that's kind of been tough on them. So, with that being said, um, I think it's time for us to end this episode. It's been a little bit crazy, not too crazy today. Um, she's calling to chat. Yeah, let's see what she has to say. Um, but anyways, 
she obviously called out Alexander and Ricky a little bit too. I think at first she definitely wanted to forgive Ricky, but then he was kind of being rude to her too. So she was like, no, I'm not doing this with either of them. She doesn't really take... Henry Benelli. Take uh, bad stuff from people. Henry and Henry, of course, chilling. With that, with them all just chilling here, kind of awkwardly. Oh, look at Henry. He's totally rolling his eyes. We are going to leave it off here. And I will see you in episode 13. And I'm going to let Mel take it away. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. Till I get out